Oh, as I like to say it in Spanish, Hola, mi fit familia! So, as if it's your first time watching me, let me tell you a little bit about what I do. Uh, my channel is based on Mexican keto food. I recreate a lot of traditional recipes, keto style, of course, you know? Um, so, um, if you've seen me before, then you know that I have a lot of great recipes. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments saying, can you do them in English? You know, my Spanish is not so good, or maybe I don't understand all the ingredients. So here I am. This is a first video in English. If there's any others that you would like for me to translate, remake in English, please look at my videos and then uh, give me a comment in this video which one you would like for me to recreate in English and then I'll, I'll make sure I redo those videos just for you. Uh, today we're going to make tortillas. Tortillas. Yes. Keto corn tortillas. Corn, well obviously it's not accepted in this ketogenic diet. But I'm going to make, uh, show you a recipe that tastes just like the real thing, but with no corn. So let's get started. So for this recipe, we're going to use one cup of almond flour. You can use blanched almond flour, brown almond flour, it doesn't matter. It's just going to change the color. Everything's going to be the same. Three teaspoons of psyllium husk. Two teaspoons of xanthan gum and two teaspoons of baking powder. Now for those of you that don't know where to find the xanthan gum or the psyllium husk, you can always go to Amazon. You'll find anything there. Everything. So our dry ingredients, we're just going to mix in our dry ingredients very well. Now our secret ingredient is chicharrones. Chicharrones, also known as pork skin. So when you go to the uh, stores, they have different kinds of chicharron, different kinds of pork skin. You've seen the ones that have meat, like in the meat section, don't get that kind. You want the kind that comes in a bag. It doesn't have to be this brand, any brand, but the ones that come in like these kind of bags. In Spanish it's called chicharron botanero, okay? And make sure you do not buy the fake chicharron that comes in bags, because you'll find ch fake chicharron that it's made up with like flour. Make sure it's real pork skin but they come in the little bags. So the fake chicharron is always like perfect little squares and the real chicharron you see is kind of like curls curls in. Different shape but they all kind of curl in. And you'll be able to see, um, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it. And in the back you'll be able to read the ingredients and say pork skin, right? Pork skin and salt. That's basically, that's all it is. Pork skin and salt. So I want to make sure you find the right chicharron. need 35 grams. Now we're going to blend it. We're going to pulverize it. You didn't see that. So I'm going to zero it out. 35 grams. Getting there. There we go. 35 grams. Pulverize this baby. And we're going to add it in. To our dry ingredients. Now I like getting everything out because, you know, when we're going white with grams, it all counts. So let me get everything out. Of course, we have our hands clean. Same with this. Get everything out. Because a gram, a gram, two grams, three grams, it all counts. There we go. Mix it one more time, all our dry ingredients. Seems like everything is pretty well incorporated. Ready for our wet ingredients. It's only one right here. We're gonna use egg whites. You can use liquid egg whites or you can use real egg whites. Well, but they're both real egg whites, you know. But if you don't want to throw away the yolk, just get the real egg whites, the carton egg whites. If you wanna if you're measuring by the whole egg, then you take away the yolk, it's gonna take four eggs for half a cup. So here we go. 
half a cup right there. Now, I don't want to use this because it's going to get all stuck to it. I'm going to use a spoon. This is just the first step of amasar, kneading the dough. You're going to be learning some Spanish words with me right here. So now, you can see it's a little bit wet. So what we're going to do, in Spanish it's called amasar. In English it's called kneading the dough. I have two tablespoons of almond flour right here. I'm just going to pour it in. And now we're going to go in with our clean hands. Like so. you get everything. There we go. This is always a fun part. And our dough looks like it's ready, right? See, as you can see, it looks like real dough, like real masa, you know, like real corn dough, like to make tortillas, like real masa. So now let me wash my hands and then we're going to get started. Okay, so we're going to turn on our stove too. It's in between low and medium. Now we're going to use a bag, a plastic bag. You can use parchment paper. I love plastic bags and in Mexico everybody uses plastic bags. So you could grab a Ziploc bag and just kind of slip it from the side, from both sides, and then cut the top. And you're going to be left with this. So this is what we're going to use. And this is what we call a prensa. A prensa, it's a tortilla maker. You can buy this on Amazon. Definitely, the tortilla maker, prensa. Sometimes they have them at Mexican stores. If you do not have a prensa and you don't want to spend like $30 on one, you might have one of these, un rodillo, you know, a roll or so. This will work. Might not come out like it's perfectly round. It doesn't matter. You know, they're just for us. So this will work too. Or we're going to use one of these bags. Like I said, you're not going to cut, slit the sides and the top. And we're going to be left with this plastic or parchment paper, whatever you prefer. So we're just going to set it like this. Now we're going to grab our dough. Depending on the size, I'm going to give you them all the macros for the whole amount of dough. You're going to divide it in between how many tortillas you got. Depends on what size you want to make them. So we're going to roll it into a little ball. I'm going to grab masa, the dough, and then just do a little ball like this. Place it in the center. And then just smash it. Now I like to do it twice just so it could stay like nice and thin. The thinner your tortilla, the easier it will be to crisp it up to like bake it or make it into a tostada or chips. So that's just a little tip out there. So as you can see, now, for those of you that are great at making tortillas, already know, like in Mexico, they just kind of peel it off and lay it like that. If not, you could probably just put it on the pan over like this. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's pretty simple. Just put it on your hand and then just lay it. There we go. And let it cook for about 30 seconds on Another little ball on each side. Again, flip it so it can stay nice and thin. And it's ready. And this one's ready to be flipped. And you can tell because it turns like into a lighter color, the whole tortilla. Just turn it like that. If you're afraid to use your fingers, your hands, you could just use like a tongs or something else to scoop it. So now I'm ready for my other tortilla. Just peel it like that and just lay it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it with the roller. Okay, so this tortilla is ready. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put it, see how flexible it is? It's pretty hot. I like to put it inside one of these towels while I make my the other tortillas. And this one's ready to be flipped. Here we go. It's kind of 
done with the same plastic. We're going to do the same thing. Make a little wall, like just like that. Place it in the center. Make a little ball, and then just kind of smash it like this. Kind of give the shape that you want. Then we're just going to stretch it. Now we're going to just make it thinner. Remember, it doesn't matter on the shape or how pretty they are. There we go. So obviously it takes a little more time with the roller, but it's definitely doable. So there's my tortilla. There we go. So I want you to see how it's turning the process of cooking and it starts to turn white. Once it all turns white, you see the change color, then it's ready to be flipped. Like right now. And you're gonna leave about, I don't know, 30 seconds at the most. And it's ready. Again, just place them here. Now, these tortillas are ready. You can eat them just like that with your meal. You could bake them in the oven or you could fry them to make tostadas. You could cut them up and then fry them or toast them to make chips. I'm gonna show you how flexible they are. See how flexible they are? Now this one's very thin. This will be really perfect for a tostada. This one's a little bit thicker. You can make them as thin or thick as you want. Perfect for tacos. I'm gonna try one right now. This is, I, the taste it's amazing so i checked my pantry and i happened to have some queso cacique mm, caseco, cacique cheese if you want to sponsor me you know you know what's up this cheese is really good queso fresco so i'm gonna grab one of my tortillas right here and i'm just gonna make a taco de queso a quesadilla you could melt it definitely but i'm just gonna eat it like this See how it rolls and it doesn't break? As you can see my tortilla does not break. It's very flexible. I swear, they look and taste almost just like the real thing. The real, you would seriously think that you're eating corn tortillas. So here we go. Oh my God, it's amazing. Mm. They look, they taste like the real thing. I wish you could taste it. It's delicious. Mmm. So? Mmm. Oh man, I can't stop eating this. If you like this recipe, if you like my channel, if it's your first time watching it and you like it, please hit subscribe. Hit the little bell icon. It'll remind you every time I put videos like this. Like I said, if you would like for me to do any more videos of the recipes that I have already in English to remake them please comment down below let me know you want the chilaquiles you want the gorditas maybe the tres leches cake I don't know let me know which one you want me to remake in English and I'll do it right for you um, si es, ya me está viendo, you've seen me before you know you probably don't know much Spanish thank you so much for hanging in there and trying to figure out the recipes and the ingredients with my other videos thank you so much you know um, now I'm gonna do both can't promise you I'm gonna do every single recipe, but I'm definitely gonna be thinking about the most popular ones, the most, the ones that you leave the most comments on. And by the way, all the macros that I'm gonna leave on the uh, the little box will be for the whole dough. So that's gonna depend on what size of tortillas you make or how thick and thin you make the tortillas. Then you're just gonna divide those macros by, I don't know, let's say you get 12 tortillas, you divide them by 12. If you get 18 tortillas, because you made them small and thin, you divide it by 16. And that's the macros that you get that's how much each tortilla will be, okay? Well, until next time, now stay fit.